Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. I am so excited to show you my new series that I'm doing called the Dream Cloud series. I have been experimenting around with pearl cells, um, Artist Loft White, you know, wasn't doing that great. And there are a ton of great artists that already do pearl cells. Um, I will list, I'll try to list them all below in the video so you can check them out. Um, but a few of them, uh, you know, the OGs, the old school, Melly D and Elise Fournier and Bonnie Keen. We've got uh, Pieces of Tara, Sarah Taylor, Dwight Pores, there's a ton, uh, Michelle Galley. There are a ton of artists doing pearl cells. I wanted to combine because I enjoy swiping. I wanted to combine swiping with the pearl cells. And what I realized as I was going is a lot of times the pearl cells, the, and I call it the pearl cell mixture, um, it's got satin enamel in it. And I'll tell you how I mix my paints in a second. A lot of times, if you flood it with a base coat, the colors just get eaten up by the white or whatever color you have your satin enamel in. And then you've really got to like finesse the painting to get what you want. So I wanted some pearl cells and I wanted to swipe it and see the reaction I got. And I love the reaction that I get out of this. And I wanted to leave some bold pops of color. And I wanted to be able to decide where I have those pops of color. So that is kind of how the series came about. Um, make sure, like I said, to check out all of the other artists that are using satin enamel as well. So I am still working on my mixture. So I'm going to list my pouring medium down below, but it is evolving as I use different brands, different colors. Um, I'm really experimenting with this. And so it kind of changes, but it's actually really simple. It is, um, artist loft white, one part paint, about three parts Floetrol and, um, about half part of satin enamel. You can add more if you want more pearl cells, um, or less if you want less pearl cells. And then for my colors, it's just one part paint to about three parts Floetrol and one part water. These paints are thick. Um, they're not as thick as my ring pours or my swipes, but they're not as thin as regular pearl cells. And I really like the reaction I get by keeping the paints thicker. So it's a little bit of a mound. Um, it's not a mound on a mound, but when you lift the paint up, you can see it drop back down on the top and it stays there, I'd say for about one or two seconds before it dissipates back into the paint layer. So I am gonna get started. I'm working on a 24 by 30 inch canvas. I have turquoise uh, green, black, which I'm loving this color combination together, um, white for the pearl cells and the, uh, I'm gonna call it the dream cloud. Um, and then I have got also, um, I made gold and um, a little bit of bronze mixed together to create this beautiful color that I have here. It softens the gold a little bit, adds a little bit of a browner uh, hue to it, and I think it complements these colors really nicely. Um, I have been experimenting with different types of metallics too, so I'll keep you updated on all of this. This is gonna be a series that I work on. Um, yeah, so you ready to get started? Let's paint. Okay, so when I am thinking about the compositions of these, like I said, I'm not gonna flood the canvas with um, all white paint for a base coat. So I'm gonna leave the canvas, this is dry. I'm gonna leave this dry for parts of it. Now, you'll get the pearl cell type reaction a lot of times around the edges as you stretch, and you can get it naturally without satin enamel um, as well, but it's as that paint thins out and the paint runs over the edge, you'll get those cells to pop up. So I do like that, but I wanna start a little bit on the inside of it, not, on the, not right next to the outer edge. I'm gonna put a little bit of it in the middle I'm gonna put a little bit along this edge right through there. I 
and then I'll put just one tiny little bit right there in that corner. And that's it. That's all I am going to use of the white color. I might add a little bit more as I add my colors, but um, so keeping it away from the edge to start so that the paint can stretch over it. I left the dry canvas so that I can put these pieces. And then when I get to the swipe part, I will tell you about that as well, because it's counterintuitive. When I swipe normally with Australian Floetrol, I swipe with the white over the colors. If you swipe the white over these colors, it just mutes the colors. You have to swipe the colors over the white to get the reaction. And then I also get a reaction from swiping with the uh, Creative Inspirations Metallic that I'm using. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with some black. I was so excited. I love when like something works out that I've been trying and man, you know, it's, it's difficult. Kudos to all the artists that are getting those, Sarah Taylor and uh, Michelle Galley, they're getting those gorgeous pearl cells and they have experimented and gotten their recipes down pat, but I just wanted to do something simple and see if it was work, if, if it would work. And I was so excited when it did. It gives a really organic feel to the painting. So I'm just going to layer this all around. You want enough paint on the canvas that it will all stretch out, but you don't want too much paint on the canvas because you want the white to be able to pop through. And then I'm going to come in with my, and you want to space your paints out enough that you're able to swipe through the colors and over the white to get those beautiful cell reactions. Okay, a little bit more in there. And I do want some up here. Okay, I think that is good. Now, fingers crossed and drum roll. Oh, I am gonna, I'm going to torch first. Okay. I am sticking to the floor from the last painting that I just made. So now I'm going to take my palette knife. I'll do a couple small ones. I have my larger palette knife over there. I may use that as well, but I'm gonna take this gold bronze and I'm gonna swipe it right down the center. through that white and it takes a little bit for it to start to pop up. It's not gonna happen in every area. It's where it will happen, where the paint is thin enough over the white for the white to pop through. And you can see it starting to happen right here. So I did notice as well that the black does not react as much. So I'll swipe an area of black. You gotta get it really thin over the top. And you can see the black doesn't react as much. Keep that in mind when I, and this is Amsterdam black, when I am swiping on through. So I'm gonna take this turquoise and swipe through here. And oop, I lifted my palette knife up too quick and the turquoise really reacts with the other color. So I'm gonna just continue that on along there. Oh, and unfortunately that piece will likely go off the edge a little bit, but. So now I'm gonna come and work on this center portion here. I love this river that's going through here, but look at those cells. Now, the paints aren't as thick as my swipe technique that I do. So 
just realize those cells are going to stretch out a bit. It's going to be very organic. They're not going to keep their shape as much. But I really like the way this, this comes out. Okay, so I'm going to take this and swipe across the black and across this white here. And you can see the cells start to pop up. Oop! <laughs> Almost immediately. And I will have, the, oh my gosh, that black that came through there. Wow, 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 that is gorgeous. I'm gonna have this as a series on um, a playlist so that you can go back through them. So I'm gonna swipe a little bit of this. Down through there, there's a little bit of reaction happening there. And you know, another great artist that does swipes that really doesn't use any of those chemicals at all, uh, there's two of them, uh, Cause Creations and also Gail Burstyn. If you haven't checked out her channel, you should check out her channel as well because she does beautiful swipes and she basically uses paint and Floetrol. And I'm sure I'm missing some others, but... All right, so I'm gonna come down through here. I don't wanna disrupt those cells that were over there. Get another napkin here. Oh, I love it already. I love it, I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna do some pretty big swipes up here. Oh, look at that. I had a lot of people asking if they can get cells without Australian Floetrol or without silicone, and the answer is absolutely. And that is going to be part of the course I'm coming out with in the next few months as well. I've been really experimenting so that I can just give you the best information that I have, the best knowledge that I have possible. Okay, so I'm gonna come down through here. And I'm trying to leave some blocks of color as well so that when I stretch it out, I'll have those big bold blocks of color. And you really want to pay attention to where you're placing the paint and how you're stretching these out and where you swipe. Okay. Gosh, I keep kicking. I keep sticking to everything. I do want to just swipe a little bit down through here. leave that actually I don't know if I want to do anything else honestly I'm gonna swipe that one area right there and if you try this please let me know how it works for you okay I kind of like this river that's going through here I didn't even need my bigger palette knife Okay, I think I'm ready to stretch this out. I don't really think there's too much else. Maybe this one little... Okay. Let's stretch this out. And when I did the first one, it really looked like these beautiful 
just like a dreamy cloud. That's what it looked like to me. So that's why I called it the dream cloud series. But I'm gonna give this one more torch. Get any air bubbles out now. Any bubbles? <laughs> In my defense, I gave it quite some time before I said that again. <laughs> It's just very organic. Unfortunately, some of that is gonna stretch off and I really like it. So I might stretch down to this side first and I am gonna put on some gloves. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna stretch this out. I'm gonna come down to this corner first. All of the paint is gonna start moving and you'll have to see where the weight of the paint is. But I'm gonna try to keep as many of those beautiful cells as possible. And this is what I was talking about when you need to have kind of the right amount of paint on there because if you have to stretch it a ton, you'll lose all the beautiful cells that you have. Okay, last little Last little stretch here. Try to get up underneath this. And I wanna keep that corner. <laughs> this is so difficult to tilt it from underneath like this. Okay. Oh my goodness. So a couple things I did have. a Okay. They're starting to pop up over here. I did have a lot of paint on there as I was telling you not to have a lot of paint on there. Um, and if you keep a thick layer of paint, the pearl cells won't pop through as much, especially with thicker paint. I'm trying to decide if I want to like tilt it anymore or if there's any areas. I'm not like super in love with this area, but the pearl cells have already started forming there. So I may just drag a little bit through here to create a little bit more interest. And maybe drag up through there really just creating like a river. Of color. Oh, I love that bright pop of turquoise right there. Yes, I like it a lot. So there's some pearl cells starting here, here over here on the side. I didn't put a ton of a base coat, so I don't expect a ton of them, but the beautiful lacing and just these big juicy, just it's gonna keep developing. I can't wait to show you. I am gonna have to tilt back this way a little bit because as I was tilting, I, <laughs> I completely hit the side here. And the last thing that I will say, this was a long, this was an, explanation video. Sorry. Uh, um, sorry, not sorry. Um, the last thing I will say there is that the sides sometimes don't get great coverage, but let it dry because it will look like it's all pulling away from the sides, but you'll really have actual coverage there. So I'm going to, I'm just going to tilt, I think back this way, just a little bit, get my edges and Swipe my finger through this one time here. It's very organic. It is super cool. There's beautiful lacing up here. Tiny little spots of little like river rocks, pearl cells popping up and big, bold color and then a cloud-like effect where the white is. I do just 
want. Oh, okay. I like that. I'm going to stop fiddling. <laughs> I'll show you what this looks like what. Okay, and here it is, and I'll take you in, but you can see the big, bold pops of color, how soft it looks all through here, the small little amount of cells, the pearl cells that are starting to pop up on the corners and the edges. So yeah, I just wanted to combine my swipes with some other techniques and see how things go, but you can see, look at how beautiful it just looks like dream clouds to me. Slightly tinted and they'll dry that way with a little bit of tint in them. Super organic feel, some lacing through here. Look at that over there. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so fingers crossed on how this one dries and I will show you the final result. So I haven't decided which way I wanna hang it yet, but overall I am so happy with this piece. I'll take you in for the details but you can see how it's like cloudy in some parts. It's got some of the little pearl cells around it, and then it's got big, bold pops of color. So this is what I was talking about in the video. You see how it like tinted those pieces up there? And my black, I think was creative inspirations maybe because it did separate just a little bit in some areas to show through but the white itself performed really really well and that is my absolute favorite corner and you can see like some of the lacing and details that stayed here and then again in that corner it's like dream clouds to me and then look at the lacing in this corner that stayed and then it merges into the pearl cells. I really, really like it. It's got a super organic feel to it and I am definitely gonna play around with this some more. Let me see if I can show you the, what? Look at that shine. Oh, I love it. It just looks super organic like you like sliced into a piece of nature. But all right, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this new series. I'm gonna be doing quite a few more videos, testing out colors and brands, seeing what works, and make sure to check out all the other great uh, pearl cell artists as well. I'll link them below the video, but I am so excited to start on this exploration journey again. Oh, experimenting makes me so happy. All right, thank you so much for being here. Happy painting. Bye.